In Creo Parametric 7.0, enhancements were made to the draft tool for drafting previously drafted surfaces. In order to show you the enhancements, I'm actually starting out in Creo Parametric 6.0 to show how the functionality used to work. In a previous video, I showed how to use the draft tool and I was playing around making that little mouse droid from Star Wars. I took different versions of those models and then exported them to a step file to show you how this even works on imported geometry. Let's create a brand new part. I'm going to call it MSC6. Actually, MSC, yeah, it was MSC6 dash Creo6. And I'm going to show this a couple different times. So I'm going to call it dash one. Let's click the OK button. I've got my new part started out over here. Let's go to the Get Data Overflow menu and choose Import. I'll grab the first step file, click the OK button out of the file box, and then middle mouse button to complete the feature. Let's hide the import feature so that we don't see the different sketches. I'm going to go to the View tab and just grab a little bit of a lighter color so you can see the contrast in here. All right, so here I have my imported geometry. Let's say I want to change this surface. I want to change the draft. If I go to the Model tab and then click Draft and then pick this surface, and then right mouse click and hold and activate my draft hinges collector, I can say that I want this to be the hinge for the draft. Essentially what it does is it takes out any taper in the wall and then you start from vertical. So here we have one degree and I can drag it out over here and say, yeah, let's go with 20 degrees on this particular surface and then hit the check mark. And that way we have drafted the previously drafted surface. Let me do that again, but I, this time I'm going to switch over to Creo 7.0 to show you how it works there. Okay, here I am in Creo. Let's bring in the model again, file new part. I'm going to call this MSC 6 Creo 7. And this is the first one I'm going to show you. I'll click the OK button. Let's import our geometry again. Hide it so that we don't see the different datums. Let me grab a different color to use. All right, so now let's do that same operation of draft and pick the surface that we want to draft. Now I will right mouse click and hold and activate my draft hinges collector and select this surface. And you'll notice now in Creo 7, it recognizes how much taper was originally on the surface. And then you can change the angle from there. And I can say, hey, I want this to be 24 degrees instead. So rather than going back to vertical, it allows you to adjust relative to the amount of draft that is in there. Let's take a look at a, another example where we have rounds on the different edges around here. And again, I'm going to jump back over to Creo Parametric 6.0 to show you how it used to work. So once again, I'm going to create a brand new part and let's call it MSC 6-Creo 6-2. So this version has those different fillets on there. Let's go to the draft tool and I will select the surface over here. Let's right mouse click and activate the draft hinges collector. And you'll see this time it automatically propagates along to all the different tangent surfaces because of this option over here. You can disable that. And essentially again, it just takes out the entire taper that was applied to that particular surface so that you can change the angle relative to it. And then when you're happy, you can hit the check mark. So again, that's how it behaves in Creo Parametric 6.0. Let's jump back over to Creo Parametric 7.0 to see how this works. All right, once again, let's bring in our imported geometry. Okay, once again, let's do the draft, select the surface, activate the draft hinges collector, select that surface over there, and you see that 
Again, it's not automatically going around to all the other different services in there. It's just giving me the one that I want in here and it recognizes the previous draft angle in there. Let's hit the check mark and I can apply the draft to the other services. And let's hit the draft tool. Let's activate our draft hinges collector pick the reference surface and again it recognizes the angle that was applied to all of those different surfaces and I can drag it bigger or smaller as necessary. So there you have it. That's the enhancement to draft in Creo Parametric 7.0. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.